everyone it's raquel of raquel's caravan cuisine and today's recipe is going to be this delicious curried crab and dumplings don't knock it until you have tried it this is absolutely delicious over here i have one pound of crab i bought at the fish market and i really wish i'd bought some more just gonna remove its back and give it a nice clean a toothbrush does the job best Be sure not to throw away the orange eggs makes this curry crab dish even more delicious now that these are nice and clean i'm gonna add some salt some black pepper some seafood seasoning some curry powder and some of my green seasoned blend which is blended skeleton and thyme garlic and onion culancho and pimento pepper and i'm gonna mix that well and make sure the spices are evenly distributed want this curry crab to be really flavorful now allow this to sit and marinate for at least 20 minutes. Now that it's done marinating to a pot, I'm going to add some cooking oil along with some chopped garlic and onion. And I'm going to saute this for about a minute or two under the lowest heat. And while that is being done, I'm going to make a curry paste. So to a bowl, I'm going to add some curry powder, a bit of turmeric powder for that rich color. Also some ground masala gives this this great flavor. A bit of water and I'm going to mix that together. To the fragrant head onion and garlic i'm going to add this paste and i'm just going to allow this to toast a bit and this toasty curry method gives this crab dish flavors to another level now in with the seasoned crab and i'm just going to mix everything together So now I'm just going to cover this down under the lowest heat so it could create juices while I prepare some cornmeal dumplings. To a container, I'm going in with some flour, a bit of cornmeal which is optional, a tip of salt and some sugar, yes, add in some water and I'm going to knead this until I create a firm dough ball. You see that tip of sugar that was added will make these dumplings so tasty if you have never done it it's a must try so now that we have created a firm dough ball i'm just going to pinch a piece and flatten it in the middle of my hands and i'm going to put this to boil and you can make this as thin or as thick as you like So now while these dumplings are boiling, now back to the curried crab. This right here is smelling so delicious. Now to this, I'm going to add some coconut milk, which is an absolute must. Also going to add a bit of water, a tip of salt to taste some chopped pimentos and culancho or you may know it as shadow benny and a whole scotch bonnet pepper then i'm just going to cover this and allow it to cook these dumplings are ready and you know they are ready when they are floating to the top of the pot i'm just going to remove them few minutes later and this curried crab is smelling exceptionally delicious the culancho that was added gives this dish great depths of flavor and because space is available in the pot i'm gonna add some dumplings in and that's it it's ready curried crab and dumplings trinidad and tobago style
thank you so very much for watching guys and if you're a lover of seafood if you like crabs this recipe is a must try this was so absolutely delicious and if you like this video click the like button and please don't forget to subscribe